Metastasis is when a malignant tumor spreads to other parts of your body, usually through the bloodstream. This process can cause debilitating and life-threatening symptoms, such as fevers, night sweats, fatigue, and pain. With the number of people in the United States living with cancer growing every year, it's imperative that you know how to prevent or slow down this incredibly complex process. There are certain foods that you can eat on a regular basis to help prevent cancer from spreading. These foods have proven to be so effective at penetrating into the blood vessel linings and scavenging free radicals that they are being heavily researched by scientists. The power of these foods lies in a group of compounds known as phytochemicals. Phytochemicals do more than just fight off free radicals. They also help to prevent damage to DNA. The damage to DNA can cause cells to become cancerous, which is why it's important for you to eat a diet rich in phytochemicals. Before knowing more about how to fight metastasis cancer cells, hit the subscribe button if you like this video to never miss our new plan to help you boost your metabolism. Let's take a look at some of the most common foods for fighting cancer cells with food. Increase your water intake. One of the most important nutrients needed by people with breast and prostate cancer are phytochemicals called flavonoids. Phytoflavonoids are powerful antioxidants that help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. While you may think drinking more water at first seems counterproductive, the truth is water is a powerful cleanser of toxins from your system that could lead to malignant growths ascending into other areas of your body. Avocados. You may not be able to imagine it, but avocados contain plant compounds called methoxanthines that can suppress chemotherapeutic drugs used in chemotherapy. Methoxanthines are found in cocoa and coffee, which are also rich sources of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory benefits. Avocados are a great addition to a healthy diet in general because they taste delicious with both savory and sweet recipes. Note, you don't need to make guacamole. Simply eat them by themselves as a snack or add them to your salad for an extra boost of health. Chili peppers. Capsaicin is the component in chili peppers that gives them their spiciness, but it also has many other health effects, such as stimulating the secretion of gastric juices, stimulating blood flow, preventing blood clots from forming, and even reducing inflammation. Capsaicin is full of antioxidants and also a powerful anti-inflammatory agent that can help reduce cancer cells. Green tea. Green tea has very potent anti-cancer properties due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. It contains polyphenols called epiglycatechin gallet, or EGCG, which have been credited with many health effects, such as protecting against cancers of the mouth and throat, as well as prostate and colon cancers. Green tea also prevents free radical damage due to its ability to suppress the enzyme superoxide dismutase, SOD. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are full of fiber because of the seeds and have plenty of nutrients such as B vitamins, vitamin C, and vitamin K. Additionally, cucumbers contain water-soluble B vitamins important for healthy blood circulation. These nutrients help to cleanse your body and in turn prevent cancer by promoting healthful cells. Zinc. Zinc is an essential mineral that plays a vital role in cell growth and DNA synthesis, which is why it's found in so many foods, such as wheat germ and oysters. The best sources of zinc include cashews, pumpkin seeds, almonds, pistachios, peanuts, shrimp and chicken breasts. Turmeric. Turmeric is a spice that gives curry its yellow color, and it's used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat everything from cancer to Alzheimer's. Turmeric contains curcumin, which can inhibit the growth of malignant tumors by blocking the enzyme tyrosine kinase. This is crucial because when tyrosine kinase is blocked, it prevents metastasis from forming in the first place. Cruciferous vegetables. When you hear about cancer-fighting foods, you may immediately think about colorful berries, but cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage and bok choy are an excellent source of phytochemicals with anti-cancer properties. 
What else can you do to improve your health? Eat a high protein diet. A diet rich in protein will help fight health issues like cancer because it's an essential aspect of building and maintaining healthy cells. Eating a high animal protein source such as grass-fed beef, free-range eggs, and organic dairy will boost your immune system and supply you with the building blocks to build new cells. Avoid processed foods. Processed foods are full of chemicals used to preserve them and make them look appealing to the eye. But high fructose corn syrup is not something you want in your body as it's been linked to diabetes, obesity, cancer, heart disease, and stroke. Get your sleep. Studies have shown that getting a good night's rest is crucial to fighting off diseases such as cancer because our body needs time to repair itself. Make it a point for you and your family to get enough sleep. The average person sleeps only around six hours a night and many of these hours are spent in unhealthy ways, such as watching TV or using electronic devices. The more sleep you get, the better. Try intermittent fasting. By following the 21-day challenge described in our previous video, you'll have a better understanding of how to fight cancer cells and increase your metabolism. It's not for everyone though, so if you choose not to then feel free to continue eating a healthy diet with all the balance it offers. Intermittent fasting is an option for people who want to build muscle mass or simply benefit from exercising without completely depleting the fat stores in your body. Eat more vegetables. To ensure you are fighting cancer by eating more vegetables, make sure they're organic and local whenever possible. Local produce is less likely to have been treated with harmful pesticides or transportation chemicals. Organic produce is not only grown without the use of harmful chemicals, but it's also much healthier for you than conventionally grown crops. Choose whole grains. Whole grains are a healthy source of carbohydrates that can be eaten as a snack or used as part of a meal, but they should never be replaced with refined grains as they contain little to no nutrients and have many negative effects on your health, such as increasing your risk of diabetes and heart disease. Eat foods highest in fiber. The American Cancer Society recommends eating at least 25 grams of dietary fiber every day. And the best way to do this is by eating plenty of fruit, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and legumes. The fiber in a plant-based diet helps slow down digestion so that you can feel full longer, absorb nutrients better, and prevent constipation issues. Get enough potassium. Potassium helps control blood pressure levels, which can help prevent heart disease and stroke, as well as lowering your risk of developing cancer and diabetes. Consume a diet that's high in potassium by including bananas, raspberries, leafy greens like spinach, avocados, beans, and potatoes. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned new things about the metastasis cancer cells. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to let us know if this worked for you and how it affected your body. Thanks for watching this video and if you want more videos on how to boost your metabolism and lose more weight, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.